guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing a video that I never thought that I would ever do. I don't think any of my family ever thought I was ever gonna do. I don't think any of my friends ever thought I was gonna do this video. I don't think any of you ever thought I was gonna do this video. That's right, I have officially done and completed my first unhaul. Stop the applause, stop the applause. I know you're all cheering after the gasps and a few of you get smelling salts for those who have passed out. It's true, I did it. My friend Audrey was here at my house for vacation a couple weeks ago by the time you guys are seeing this and she was my little helper she went through all of my books with me and helped me unhaul a good chunk of them but at the same time it doesn't look like I've made a dent <laughs> so here we go uh, so I'm just gonna go through and show you guys the books that I'm unhauling I'm probably going to sell some of them most of them I'm gonna at least put them up for sale on Pango, Instagram, maybe Facebook, and all the different selling places. Um, and then if I don't sell some of them, or if there's some that I just know might not necessarily sell, I might put a stack together and do some little free library hauls, like go around my area and go to some of our free little libraries and at least drop them off. I don't know if I'll take much, but at least add to them because I think we have some in our area that I haven't stopped at because I've never had anything to give. I will say this, this is not against if you see a book that you love or an author you love or anything like that. I'm not saying anything against the authors. I just know that after reading a lot of the backs and the synopsis, synopses of the books, they're just books that I am not necessarily gravitated to, I won't gravitate towards, especially with all the other books that are out there to read and the books that keep coming out. These are not ones that I see myself reaching for and I want to make room for more books that I love, more books that are coming out, books by authors that I love, know, and will read all of their stuff, all the things. Um, so if you see one of your favorite books, let me know. I'd love to chat about it. I'd love to hear why it's your favorite book. I will say most of these I have not read. <laughs> um, but again, just reading the back, it just doesn't seem like something that I would necessarily enjoy. So again, please don't take this as anything towards the authors. I know a lot of them love all of them. Um, and it was very hard for me to to get rid of them but once I started I was like you know what no this is a good thing and I'm proud of myself so there are lots I don't know the exact number I'll probably do a count at the end and include it somewhere in the end of the video so you guys know exactly how many I'm getting rid of because it is a lot and without further ado because it's gonna be a long video I just keep talking um, we're just gonna jump right into the first stack and I'll show you what I'm getting rid of first is actually a nonfiction book um, it's coffee shop devos by Tessa Emily Hall these are daily devotionals um, for teen girls and I am just past that stage in my life but I'm probably gonna hold on to it until I know a teen girl because I think it would probably be helpful um, at least something to hold on to so I am gonna hold on to it until I know somebody to give it to but it is one that I'm not gonna read next is the more in the maiden by Hannah Joy Wilkinson everything she didn't say by Jane Kirkpatrick between You and Us by Kendra Brokis. A Midnight Masquerade novella collection. The Artful Match. Refuge, Refuge of the Heart and The First Gift by Ruth Logan Hearn. And her old covers, I wanna say. The Sweet Smell of Magnolias and Memories. The Promise. Full Circle and bookends, heirlooms, forward to what lies ahead, tacos for two and the key to love by Betsy, Betsy St. Amant. Next I have the space between words, gone south. I love this cover. It's so cute. I kept it around so long because I love the cover. I have The Writing Desk and The Love Letter by Rachel Hawk.
wishing on buttercups, the wedding dress. I just realized these are not in the order that they were on my shelves, but they got mixed up in the mumble jumbo. The memory house, saving Mrs. Roosevelt, and aiming for love, loving grace, Victoria Grace the Jerk Face. Also, I love the cover of this and like the color of that cover. Within these, within these lines and between before and after. Next, I have a couple classics that I have other editions of that I like the complete series in one edition. And I'm not super connected to any classics enough to have multiple editions of one book. Um, so I have Anne of Green Gables. I do love this edition though so that one was hard for me to part with but it's okay because I do love the editions that I have already then I have this edition of Little Women with sprayed edges it's very pretty and then I have Little Women in these puffin classics they're so cute Joe's, Bo Joe's Boys and Little Men super adorable I love love these editions too but again i'm not super connected to any of those stories and i have the full series of little women and anne of green gables in editions that i i do love they're very pretty so i'm happy with those editions so going to part ways with these then i have a cowboy for keeps a reluctant bride searching for you together forever with you always and Unending Devotion. I have Lone Star Sanctuary, First Impressions, and Reason and Romance. These are Jane Austen, like retellings of some of Jane Austen's books. Again, don't have a connection to any type, type of classics. So Jane Austen retellings, I'm not proficient in like something could be a Jane Austen retelling and I it would literally just fly right over my head unless somebody told me because I just I didn't read them so don't know uh, then I have blowing on dandelions the solace of water a bound heart the lace maker an uncommon woman and a heart adrift by Laura France Next, I have All's Fair and Love and Cupcakes. Isn't this cover so cute? I do love, love the colors. I have Tate and Knox by Sarah May Warren. Susan, I apologize, by Susan May Warren. Long Way Gone by Charles Martin. The Theory of Happily Ever After. Wait for Me. And My Foolish Heart. Then I have A Distance Too Grand, Nothing Short of Wondrous, and A View Most Glorious by Regina Scott. Meet Again and Meet Hate by Abby Sabina. I have The Do's and Don'ts of Dating a Doppelganger by Carrie Monet. Um, this says that it's an arc in, like she put it in that this was an advanced reader's copy. So I will not be selling this one, but I will probably be doing a giveaway of it on my Instagram account. One so that somebody else can read it um, and try her out because I think this was her debut story um, but also just to make sure because it was sent to me that I'm not um, I'm not getting anything out of an advanced readers copy because little PSA bright flashing lights wee -oo, wee -oo, pause um, it is wrong and it says that all over you are arcs should not be resold um, they are unfinished products and they cannot be resold they cannot that's a thing um, and I am that person that if I see them in stores I will say something to them because they should not be like used bookstores and things they should not be sold so just heads up next I have Catching Christmas by Terry Blackstock I have The Love Script by Tony Shiloh I have A Wedding Mismatched Levi Bailey Has Butterflies Insta Connection and Insta Boyfriend by Jen Atkinson. And it was so hard for me to get rid of this one because I'm just obsessed with her cover art for these ser this series, but I'm not gonna be getting any more of them, so I don't need one book in the series. 
Then I have the Costas Brothers um, Christmas series by Ellie Hall. Uh, this is Tommy and Mary, 12 Days of Christmas, Bruno and Gloria and the Five Golden Rings, Lucy, Luca and Ivy and the Four Calling Birds, Gio and Joy and the front ten, Three French Hens, Paulo and Noella and the Two Turtle Doves, Nico and Hope and the Partridge in a Pear Tree. So that series. Have Becoming Mrs. Lewis by Patty, Patty Callahan. Um, I, again, didn't read, I didn't grow up reading C.S. Lewis, so I don't know anything about him. Uh, so I probably won't read that story. I have Freedom's Light by Colleen Coble. Then The Crossing at Cypress Creek. The Road to Magnolia Glen. And The Promise of Breeze Hill, all by Pam Hillman. I have The Tea Chest, Lady of a Thousand Treasures, Memories of Glass, Count the Stars by Night, A Lady Like Sarah, My Heart Remembers, Out of the Ruins, and In Pursuit of Tamsin Littlejohn. I have Random Acts of Kindness random acts of kindness then and now um i was given this at my old job never finished it but it's just like a bunch of short stories of random acts of kindness it was cute what i read of it uh true out to canaan a path to forgiveness a bride in the bargain courting trouble fair play a Table by the Window, Barking Up the Wrong Tree, Strands of Truth, Dangerous Depths, Fragments of Fear, The Domino Effect, Flashpoint in Hidden per Peril, forgot how to say that word for a minute, Anointed, Discovered, Emissary and Dragon Spell, Wind Through Waters Deep and Nightmare City, Concealed, then I have Princess Ever After, How to Catch a Prince and Once Upon a Prince by Rachel Hawk in her old covers, which I love. I mean, the new covers are cute, but there's something just so like 2010 royalty rom-com about this like in that time you know just so cute fatal strike possession the string beyond justice imperfect justice and delayed justice by kara putman tracking stolen treasures the enlightenment of bees this copy is so torn up. I had to like tape it. It was a mess. Noah, Man of Destiny. Off the Chain. Price of Privilege. Mark of Distinction and Born of, Born of Persuasion. Love on the Line. Rosemary Cottage. City of the Dead and Isle of Shadows, The Heart of a King, A Passionate Hope, The Prophetess, End of the Magi and the Centurion, and I have whoop, AD 30 and AD 33 by Ted Decker. Guys, we are on our last stack, so a couple more books, and then that's it for the books that I'm unhauling. So I have It Could Happen Here, Love Starts With L, A Royal Christmas Wedding, Don't Keep Silent, Always Look Twice, and Never Let Go by Elizabeth Goddard. And the final three books I'm getting rid of are Famous for a Living, The Dating Charade, and The Cul-de-Sac War by Melissa Ferguson. Yeah, that was my unhaul, guys. I 
really like I'm, I'm really proud of myself thank you so much Audrey for being here with me and doing this because I love my family but they probably would have told me to just get rid of them all Audrey at least you know was a good party to have here in the situation <laughs> but I had quite a few that I got rid of um, and now I get the joy of reorganizing my shelves up here and moving stuff around again I might be doing some more unhauls as time goes on and I realize that I'm still not reading the books that I have on my shelf um, and running out of space but I had a lot of fun doing it uh, I just realized now I have to count them all because I do want to give you guys a grand total and I know that I want to give I want to know how many I got rid of because it's it's large it's large and in charge so I'm gonna count real fast and then I will give you a grand total of the amount of books that in my first one haul I am getting rid of okay after um, setting up half of them kind of sorta and then them all falling revamped it I at count I unhauled a hundred and forty six books that's crazy guys and again my bookshelves are still going to be full because I was overflowing. So now I get the great pleasure of reorganizing my bookshelves. Um, at least like a generic rundown to move things around. But yeah, that was my first unhaul again. Thank you, Audrey, for helping me out. I had a lot of fun doing this. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my unhaul. Let me know in the comments below. Did you see any of your favorites? Do you love them? Let me know what you thought about them. And... Yeah, I'm excited to just have my books maybe not overflowing as much for now. I'm sure that'll change. But I am being a little more intentional with the books that I am buying and bringing in, knowing that I have so many already that are unread, but making sure that the ones I do bring in and the ones that I do keep are ones that I am excited about and will read and by authors that I love. Again, I might do this another time, getting rid of more books. But as of now, I think 146 books is good don't you think <laughs> don't forget you can check out my blog at for the love of christian fiction .com. you can also check out my instagram at for the love of christian fiction all my other links are in the description box below i really think that should probably be it i'll see you guys next time bye